Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, June 14th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today was Microsoft's Patch Tuesday and we counted a total of 94 vulnerabilities being addressed this month. Now, not all of these vulnerabilities are your classical Patch Tuesday vulnerabilities. There are 14 Chromium related vulnerabilities that were actually patched a little bit earlier this month and of course included in Microsoft Edge. There are also six GitHub vulnerabilities that are not typically sort of considered part of the Microsoft patch set. But when we're looking at the Microsoft patches, what's sort of interesting is, well, what's actually not interesting and that there, there are no vulnerabilities this month that were prior to today disclosed or that are already exploited. So no zero days, but we still have six different critical vulnerabilities. None of them is really sort of a big screamer in the sense that it's something that you absolutely have to patch right now. There are three critical vulnerabilities in the Windows Pragmatic Multicast service. This is sort of a, well, as the name implies, a multicast service, but one that actually includes also some reliability. It's sort of a modified multicast protocol. You're likely only vulnerable if you also use Microsoft Message Queue. So this one is a little bit more tricky to exploit, but still considered critical because it does allow arbitrary code execution. And then there are also two new vulnerabilities in Microsoft Exchange. These vulnerabilities are only considered important because they do require authentication. But remember, there were prior vulnerabilities in Exchange that required authentication that were widely exploited. Also interesting, a critical vulnerability in SharePoint. This is a JWT spoofing vulnerability, or JWT, depending on how you pronounce it, a JSON web token. It does allow an unauthenticated attacker access as administrator. The final critical vulnerability is in Visual Studio. This is, of course, something that you don't necessarily have enabled. Uh, only really developers should really need uh, Visual Studio typically. Also, it's a part of the debug feature that does allow remote code execution with Visual Studio. So it's labeled critical, but uh, I don't think it's really a vulnerability you should you lose a lot of sleep over. So nothing too outrageous. Apply the patches as usual, nothing that you need to specifically prioritize. Since Microsoft didn't give us a zero day vulnerability today to patch, we got one from VMware. VMware released details and a patch for CVE 2023-2867. The CVSS score for the vulnerable is only 3.9, which makes it low. However, it is already being exploited, which makes it more interesting. It's interesting also in so far that typically when we're talking about VMware vulnerabilities, we often talk like about VM escape vulnerability, where you go from the guest to the host. This one is kind of the other way around, where due to a vulnerability in VMware tools, which is uh, the add-ons that you typically install in virtual machines to move files uh, to the host and back, this add-on has an authentication bypass. So an attacker who gained access to vCenter is now able to copy files and read files from virtual machines, bypassing authentication that may otherwise be necessary. Like I said, it is being exploited, and I'll link in the show notes, not just to the VMware advisory, but also to a blog post by Mandiant, where they talk a little bit about how this particular vulnerability was exploited. And continuing with Patch Tuesday, we also got updates from SAP. There are a total of eight new security notes and five updated ones. Among the new security notes, there are two that are rated as high. One is a 
stored cross-site scripting vulnerability. So something that could be used, for example, to inject in JavaScript and steal credentials uh, from the system and also uh, missing authentication in the SAP plant connectivity and production uh, connector. So uh, these are probably the vulnerabilities that you really have to pay attention to. If you have seen these exploits against uh, these ERP systems in the past, so nothing you should ignore. I don't always mention them because of course these systems are widely used but not really that widely used. Well, that's it for uh, today. If you like this podcast, I hope you subscribed in your podcast app. Uh, Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.